1970. If you think about those days, it was easy. All you had to do was strap a guitar on, swear at the people, play some fairly aggressive music. We were ex escorted out of Rhodesia, Petersburg, banned from Cape Town, banned from Durban. The situation was so incredibly dry, hollow. There was, there was very little soul in the country then. What's up, Red Bull? So sad city, it's a land of day, a gentleman just free. The struggle of black kids in Soweto in the uprising and the struggle of white kids to understand why they didn't want to go to the army and go and kill people, those kind of met uh, and out of that came this kind of music. Bands like uh, National Wake, they were the first real um, integrated color-wise band, uh, rock band that, that was quite revolutionary in what they were saying. Songs like International News which spoke about going into Angola which was de facto you couldn't say that. It was life during wartime, you were like crossing borders and boundaries, it was different. Yeah, it's a long time since I saw you. I think you were young. Yeah. Punker was like the lion of National Wake. I can't explain, yeah. you know. When we started moving to the reggae sound, yeah. that's Punker started taking the leadership almost, yeah. you know. It was amazing. There were hopeful signs in South Africa which soon disappeared and in fact the situation got more and more dire. All the rules about black and white people actually socializing. It was draconian and um, just uh, it was a minefield of race legislation that we just sort of stepped our way through. Walk in Africa. Walk with Africa. You have to think back to how things were then. It was an incredibly repressive time to live, even if you were white. Ik is een ochtend brein ouder aan de ouder, dus ik moet nog samen met mijn wit goos zien hoor. Alle spring rond voor hij moest, ik zeg maar, die moest er eigenlijk te gaan, die moest man, ik moet nog kijken wat maakt die ouder. Toen denk ik, nee, het is een squai muziek, maar het is een beetje te starig. Something that's kind of starting to happen in the ska punk thing is that they, they're actually like starting to like, take in the ska sections instead of doing like ska they're trying to they're trying to check out like some more like guma flavored african cut with that fast stuff <laughs> and then it, then it sounds like punk <laughs> Lee Thompson, I'm a trumpet player. I play with Hog Hoggity Hog. I'm not gonna like say, you know, fuck, it's my fault and have all this guilt and say, oh, I'm not really African. Because you know what, like I actually am. O som de 340 ml, de 340 ml, é uma mistura de ska, uh, que vem de punk, uh, reggae, dub, uh, Mozambican traditional music.
we're all South African and that's what the band's about right now is just being real where we are in South Africa and expressing out the way we live and the way we experience South African life. <laughs>